I was uh, eight years old at the time. I had just left um, Sunday school and I was sitting on the bus. This is in Benalla, of course, uh, near Murchison. And um, I just happened to be looking out the window, right place at the right time. It was a clear, bright blue, sunny sky. And I saw this brilliant white flash uh, low on the western horizon. I knew enough about space and astronomy and all of those things to realise that it was, a, uh, it was a meteorite. And I didn't think anything of it at the time, but then uh, there started to be reports on the news that evening and in the newspapers in following days, uh, referring to it as the Murchison meteorite. And you've got to remember this is 1969, not long after the moon landing, so uh, everyone, uh, all of society was absolutely consumed with anything to do with space and the solar system. The Murchison meteorite is one of the most fascinating and studied meteorites known. It is classified as a carbonaceous chondrite and after being analysed, it was discovered to contain many of the essential ingredients for life. Things such as amino acids, sugars and alcohol related compounds. Pieces of the Murchison meteorite are held here at Geoscience Australia and we thought we would take it out and let Chris reunite with the meteorite he witnessed fall over 50 years ago. I'll let you get it out Chris. Oh wow, look, look at that. Home. That is remarkable. It really is an unusual rock. Even I was fascinated by the water content, 8% yeah, water. Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it, for a yeah. piece of rock that's been floating around in space for most of its life. Yeah. Research studies into its makeup have continued over the decades with exciting new discoveries made regularly. For example, it has a water content of around 8%, which may hold clues as to why we have water here on Earth. I think the thing I find absolutely astonishing about this is there's material in here that predates the solar system. I think that's astonishing, half the age of the universe. Perhaps most significantly, a recent study revealed it contains the oldest material ever found on Earth in the form of seven billion year old stardust grains. And this is a full two and a half billion years older than our Earth and solar system. That was fantastic just to pick it up actually. That was quite special to reconnect with this meteorite after having seen it fall in 1969, quite a long time ago. There are fragments in the Murchison meteorite that are over 7 billion years old, much older than the solar system. And it was very special to hold something that old that represents something primordial in the formation of the universe. Pieces of the Murchison meteorite, along with other significant space rocks, are on display and available for research at the National Mineral and Fossil Collection here at Geoscience Australia in Canberra.